Good afternoon in today's video, I want to show you a method that will allow you to continue receiving security updates for the Windows Server 2012 or 2 operating system in 2024. Microsoft stopped supporting it as usual from October 2023, with additional extended support until 2026. But it is possible to return this by making your server safe again. I have a virtual machine, let's see my operating system version. There is a winver command for this. I installed all possible security updates that can be downloaded from the internet using Windows Update. In my story, you can see the last update from October 2023, but it is already May 2024. To complete the experiment, I will run a check for new security updates and wait a bit. Now that we have made sure that there are no updates, we need to do some preliminary preparation and download three update packages. The Microsoft Catalog will help us with this. The first update is the servicing stack update number KB5037021. Enter its name and try to find it. You can click on the link and see in more detail what this package does and what it consists of. After that, click the download button and download this package from the link. The next thing we need to download is the Security Update Extended Licensing Preparation Pack Update Number KB5017220. You can also study it and then download it. And the last step is to download the latest monthly update package, in my case it is the May collection, it usually weighs 500 megabytes or more. Now we need to prepare a file that makes changes to the Windows registry. I will leave a link to download it in the description of the video. I would like to note that this file can be easily edited with a text editor. Here I will highlight what you will have to watch for with future packages that you will install. The first is the public key token number. The second is the full version of the system. Each subsequent update will change the system version, so before updating it you will need to make changes to the registry through this file, but public key token does not change for a long time. Let me show you where to get public key token and the system version. The WinRAR or 7-zip archiver will help us. Open the downloaded package KB5037823 using an archiver. The public key token key can be viewed in the XML file. You can compare it with what I have in my file. Now I will show you where to get the version that will be available after installing the update. To do this, open the cab file and find this manifest file, the only thing that may differ in its name is the public key token number. Open it and look at the version number, if it is different, then copy it and replace it in the file that changes the registry.
Now I copy the 3 kilobytes and reg file into my Windows Server 2012 or 2 virtual machine. Now you need to run the files in the correct sequence. Install KB5037021 first. Now you need to install the KB5017220 package. Next you need to make changes to the registry. To do this, run the file and confirm your actions. After which you must reboot the system. After the reboot, we now need to download a large update package. We also double-click on it, scanning will begin, it may take some time, just be patient. After determining that it can be used, click yes and drink tea or coffee. The installation will last about 5 minutes, I will speed it up in this part of the video. To fully apply the new update package, you must reboot your system. Let's make sure that the update was successfully applied. To do this, go to the Update Center, Installation History. As you can see, it appears in the list and has a successful installation status. Congratulations, you have made your system more secure. Thank you all for watching, if you have any questions, I'm waiting for them in the comments. I forgot to say, don't forget to update your net framework by downloading the latest updates.